heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. He's never this time. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then I ask a favour of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. If it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. <laughs> Goblins. Why am I not 
surprise. Sick of Toggle. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble.
So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Speaking of Oriflam... I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and a tin tie is Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will you? All right. Make it quick. What's that for, you, dear? It'll last you a good while. That it? Mm, fine. Look what the curl dragged it. Go on, then. You got out else? I'll be thankful you got that much. Finished, are you? I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Why was it? Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the hide in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again, this time due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home, with a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. There's... Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but who is this Dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. That's everything. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. 
They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Me? The way I see it... So, what'd you say? Anything catch your eye? You're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. But how did the grocer know his daughter? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Don't tell me. Turnips for some. Brother, did you see it? <gasps> Here. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. 
I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't. I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Ah, oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right, I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Looks like that was the last of them. I'd better let Quentin's man know. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing?
Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our goat and rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> Done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Ha! Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Get him, lads. I want that thing. Let's get this over with. Now let them get away. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right, we've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. 
Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake's head is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. Ifrit still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, primary an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Reach. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. Uh, I hope the dame has friends in the south. even that much of my time branded my mistake no mine upon reflection you don't have the scent of a branded about you the flowers Otto always did know how to please me more than Sid ever did anyway do you think you could please me Clive you're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred, Cleontel. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. 
Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today. It is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I 
Don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Start here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy Sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Excuse me. You there? I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Marvelous! The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. 
Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Sergeant's got it in for us. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the Dame's being... Properly looked after. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, Tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. <laughs> At Leon. Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? How the bearer win the Dane's favor anyway? By knowing where to hold my tongue for a start. <laughs> <laughs> Gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old sod had a point. 
I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favour. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? The bones fell favourably to the veil then. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right, but what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, Simple fare cost little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek Afford you a certain freedom, a freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. To the Vale, then, is it? I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. A dame, thank you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post.
It's not been half a moon since Bellin's talk. You look like you need a rest. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. From me. Jack, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Here, yeah. it looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. Drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. <laughs> 